Good evening, and it's great to have you with us on a Wednesday night. And we begin with the bombshell announcement from Fox News that their biggest star is out amid growing reports of sexual harassment that sparked an advertising revolt. I'm Lala Kathwari here for The Nocturnal. I'm at the New York premiere of Boss Baby, starring Alec Baldwin, Lisa Kujo, and Steve Buscemi. Firstly, the New York Common Pantry held its annual Fill the Bag event, bringing together impactful individuals looking to make a difference. I'm here at the New York premiere of 24 Legacy. Check out our exclusive interviews with the cast. I want to know, are you a little nervous because of Keeper? And did you get a permission? <laughs> did you have his blessing? Um, I, 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 of course I was n nervous. I, I think about it. If you've ever wanted to travel down to Turkey to try their delicious cuisine, well now you can. At 409 Mount Pleasant Avenue in Mamernik, the Fez Turkish Mez has opened up. I and mean, just take a look for yourself. The steak looks so mouthwatering and the menu is absolutely delicious. I'd be a fool to keep reporting, so I'm just going to get right to it. For the Report. first time ever, the ACRC Bowl traveled up to New York this weekend and Iona College hosted Delaware University in support of the Quinn for the Win Foundation. I'm Raul Kathwari reporting from Mazzello Field, where when a men's rugby team fell to Cutstown University 33 to 26. This was the game that Iona had been preparing for all season. Since losing 71 to 0 to Cutstown last year, this season Iona retaliated, proving that their defense is a threat. So, on the voice, you sang Have a Little Faith in Me. Why did you choose that song? Uh, Congratulations are in order for Larchmont Badger Swim Club member Cody Miller. He won a bronze medal in the 100 meter breaststroke at the 2016 Rio Olympics. Congratulations, you just won. You. How do you feel? What's next? Uh, I feel pretty exuberant. John Kasich has made his way down to New York for a Westchester Town Hall. Car lovers from all over New York have come right here to Harbor Island Park in Mamernik to show off their cars at the 43rd annual Kiwanis Car Show. From the music to shopping, antique cars, and even massages, the Kiwanis Car show had it all. Spectators came from all over New York to enjoy the event, spend time with family, and fuel their car-loving hobby. Yeah, this is actually our second car show. We came here last year. Um, the little guy here loves cars as well, as you can see from his shirt. So we wanted to take him down here so we can be able to check all the cars out. Well, I'm um, seeing all these cars and stuff. I really like the Corvettes that they're showing. And yeah, I think it's really cool. Drivers and members of car clubs couldn't wait to show off their prized possessions, many of whom have been coming to Kiwanis for years, could talk for hours about the history of their cars, its horsepower and exteriors, among other things. Sure, this is Blaze 1936. Um, this car goes back a lot of years. A lot of people customized a lot of these older cars because they, they look, with the, they call them fat fended cars. It's a 1953 Chevy 3100 pickup truck. I did this myself in my driveway with paint remover, a power washer, and a special chemical that you put on the raw metal to make it turn to rust. This is uh, the new technologies, the new Z06. 650 horsepower, 650 pounds of torque. It's a beautiful car. The Kiwanis Car Show also took place on the 15th anniversary of 9-11. Many fire departments came to Kiwanis to pay tribute to fallen heroes through their special cars and to raise money and awareness for victims through their racing clubs. Hey, FDNY Racing is a NASCAR race team and it was formed after 9-11 to pay tribute to 343 firefighters. Since 1973, this car show has been happening to raise scholarships and funds that will go straight back to the community. We give about six or eight scholarships and we sponsor a couple of sports teams. Everything goes back into the community. Riders seem to be a big favorite among many. The car is usually seen in the West Coast, and owner Marco Flores knew his Chevy would be a unique crowd pleaser at Kiwanis. This car is a 1963 Chevy Impala. The car was built in New York, actually. It got a hydraulic system, can operate a real low rider, and uh, special designs on it and airbrush done by me. The low riders, I really like those low riders. And, uh, it's not too many, like you said, not too many in New York, but they, they mostly out in California. You'll see a lot of them out there. All around, this is such a great event with great music, great food, and even better cars. I'm Raul Kathwari reporting for Local Live, and I'm going to take this baby for a spin.